I started my teaching career outside of the international model. And when I entered the international model, of course, I came with those, um, let's say, preset beliefs and structures that were mostly traditional because my background was British Caribbean. And so things like scoring, student work, um, that curriculum itself was very traditional. Um, there was a lot of like rote, uh, for example, rote memorization, um, skills that geared students to be able to read, write, listen, speak, but to the end of achieving a, a particular score. It's very quantitative. The international models helped me to move from that traditional uh, thinking to a more qualitative, a more student-friendly, a more student-driven focus. So, for example, being able to engage students in expressing their own voice. Um, thinking about equitable resources, thinking about what's happening in our world and how to prepare students to be able to do that successfully beyond just uh, passing a particular exam. Uh, other ways, I think, in terms of developing my own voice, um, being able to relate to other, edu uh, other educators, being able to develop myself, my own thinking, my own critical thinking skills, and not seeing myself just as a teacher, but as a leader, as you know, a professional who is also responsible for developing the school. So I'm not there just to comply with or complete a particular set of uh, responsibilities, but I'm also there to help develop the school and what we hope to achieve for our students. When we're looking at deeper learning, the relationships, you know, the meaningful learning that we're doing with students, it was difficult at the beginning because we had to really start with adult culture, with teachers and staff, and bringing them on board with the changes with new tech. That was not easy. It was something that took time, but after five years of that, we have an outstanding adult culture where when we bring new staff in, it's a little bit easier to onboard them. I was also given a lot of support on changing the status quo. Whatever change needed to happen, whatever change I felt needed to happen, my principal supported me and I see my um, big picture professional development, whether it was uh, from the people that came to the school or the conferences, was about changing our students' lives, changing our school, changing our community, um, and being a part of, being a part of the world and being responsible for that, like owning that whatever you do, it has a consequence that doesn't just affect you. And so, you know, and that meant in math class, and that meant after school as well.